I just got done watching the Pacquiao versus Marquez fight, and um, I gotta admit, Marquez impressed me tonight. Um, because in my prediction, I said that uh, Pacquiao would win by TKO in the seventh round, but um, Marquez he's shown that his style still gives Pacquiao problems. Um, now I did have Pacquiao winning the fight. But just barely. I mean, I think I might have had Pacquiao ahead by one or two points, and that that was it. The fight was very close. It was, it was, because they was both almost landing about the same amount of punches. But I will say that Pacquiao, um, well, that Marquez, his punches were landing cleaner, but it's just that. Marquez wasn't landing as many punches as Pacquiao, and that's what cost him the fight. But um, you could tell that uh, Pacquiao was frustrated. Um, you could tell by the way he looked in the corner that um, that he was looking discouraged, and um, he actually looked discouraged at the end of the fight too. But um, honestly, um. I still had Pacquiao winning. I mean, he threw more punches. He landed more punches. But the fight was very, very competitive. I mean, uh, it wasn't like it was when Marquez fought Mayweather. Well, when, um, Mayweather won every single round. Uh, this fight was very competitive. Um, and I wasn't expecting it to be like that because I was figuring that with Marquez being older, I was thinking that his reflexes weren't going to be the way they used to be. But, um... Marquez proved me wrong. He looked good tonight. He looked sharp. Um, he um, was avoiding a lot of punches. Um, the fight started off kind of slow the first three, four rounds. But uh, I remember round nine, um, that was a real good round. They was both slugging it out in the ninth round. But um, you could tell that there was a lot of pressure between both fighters. Um, there was a lot of uneasiness between the two. You can tell by the... Because um, there were times when they weren't throwing a lot of punches and you could tell they was both hesitating at times there were times when Pacquiao would look like he would throw a punch but then he'll pull back and then Marquez was doing the same thing but um what can I say styles make fights um even though uh Pacquiao definitely showed more uh, better defense than he did the first two times he fought Marquez, um, but Marquez was still able to catch him off guard a lot of times during the fight. But, um, like I said, um, styles make fights, and that counter-punching style still gives Pacquiao trouble. I was actually expecting at least a knockdown or two during the fight. There was no knockdowns at all in this fight. Um, nobody got staggered. Uh, Pacquiao got cut, but it was from a headbutt. But um, I was expecting at least one or two knockdowns. Um, I thought Pacquiao was going to knock Marquez down at least once or twice. But um, I was wrong in that. And um, Now, I know a lot of people are going to say that Mayweather would just blow through Pacquiao. Which, it, it's a possibility it could happen. But like I said, if you look at my other video called Styles Make Fights, I explain how each fighter fights. And how just because Pacquiao struggled with Marquez doesn't necessarily mean that Pacquiao might struggle with Mayweather. Even though there's a chance Mayweather could beat him. And it, I think there's a chance Pacquiao can beat Mayweather. But um, I could understand how people would say that Mayweather would beat Pacquiao after seeing how he performed tonight. Which it could happen. I mean Mayweather is a better counter puncher than Marquez. But Mayweather doesn't really like to get into, um, he's not, um, he's just a pure boxer, so he's not going to um, fight the same way Marquez does. Um, he doesn't really throw as many punches as like what Marquez would do, but Mayweather's got superior defense compared to Marquez and is a more accurate counter puncher, and that could give Pacquiao problems. But at the same time, Mayweather's chin is still suspect, in my opinion. And if Pacquiao was to catch him flush, um, there's no telling what might happen. He might be able to get Mayweather out of there. But that's that's for a, a whole nother video. But like I, I gotta say, um, 
Pacquiao won the fight in my opinion, but I gotta give Marquez props. He put on one hell of a fight and performed a lot better than I thought he would. Even though he's older now, he performed like he would have in his prime. So um, I gotta give him props on that. Um, he did good, Marquez, just not quite good enough to win a fight, but he still should be considered uh, definitely in the top five in pound for pound, best fighter in the world. Um, and that's all I got to say about that.